Oh, hey there. Thanks for joining us. Well, when I say us, I mean me. I'm here to help walk you through some important information about this event. We've got a lot of information to cover, so please try and keep up. You're going to have to do a lot better than that if you're going to keep up. Observers, the ladies and gentlemen you see wearing bright green shirts are official observers. Some observers may also be incognito during the tournament. In some cases, you'll be aware of when you are being observed. In other cases, you won't. If there is a W on the score sheet on the left side of a player's skill level, it means that a player has been marked to be watched. A player may be marked with a watch for various reasons. Random selection, the player may have a low number of scores, the league operator may be unsure of a player's ability, or it could be for other general concerns. A W may appear next to a player's skill level at any time during the event. It is your responsibility to request a referee for an official observer to be called before a player with a W plays. Notify the referee as soon as possible. Once the referee calls for an observer, they must initial the score sheet before the match begins. If a player with a W plays without requesting an observer, the player may be one skill level higher the next round. The observer is looking for the ability of the players. Don't assume if an observed player loses that their skill level won't go up. The observers are off limits for conversation. They are there to observe the matches they are asked to watch. Do not ask an observer to watch a player or make rulings. Call a referee. As long as you are playing honest, there is no reason to be uncomfortable with the presence of an observer. They are here to protect you. Our Handicap Review Committee reviews all teams between rounds, and the observers report to them after each match they observe. The Playing Arena when entering the playing arena, only do so at the entrances. Do not jump over or crawl under the pipe and drape. If you are in need of a scooter to enter the arena, use the scooters to get to the player seating and have someone park them in the designated areas. The aisles must be clear at all times per Las Vegas code. Hey, Jose, uh, away! Be sure to turn off your cell phones while in the tournament room unless you have silent or vibrate mode. Cell phones can be extremely distracting during play. Don't allow anyone on your team to answer a cell phone during their match. If they do, a timeout will be charged. Players are not allowed to wear headsets while playing their match. Modified singles. This is a modified single elimination event, which means you get two opportunities to play, not necessarily two opportunities to lose. If you think you are out of the tournament, Verify in the bracket that your opponent has advanced and there are the winner and there is no longer a place for you to advance. Forfeit time. Forfeit time is 15 minutes. However, do not wait 15 minutes to let the referee know your opponent is not there. Even though the forfeit time is 15 minutes, all effort is made to try to locate them. Only the staff of the control table can officially determine the time of a forfeit. The copy sport. CompuSport will be used to display electronic brackets and table assignments. CompuSport kiosks are available in the tournament rooms. You can also download the CompuSport app from your phone. ID. It's up to the players participating in each match to verify the ID of their opponent prior to the match starting. If a player doesn't have his ID at the time, the match is forfeited. <coughs> to illustrate how important the identification process is, Entire teams have been disqualified and suspended from the league due to players impersonating other players in the past events. Although they were the ones who cheated, the other team allowed it to happen by not checking their identification. Cue balls. Don't forget, the cue ball is always live. Don't touch the cue ball at the end of the game until it has stopped rolling completely. This may result in a foul. However, common sense must prevail. Referees. Referees are available at all times. If a shot is close, stop the match and call the referee to watch the shot. Referees cannot rule on a shot that they were not asked to watch. Referees are APA members who have volunteered for this duty. Please treat them with courtesy and respect. Dress code. Please review the dress code in the event program and make sure you and or your team is in proper attire. Look at your opponent's attire prior to the start of the match and let a referee know if you have any concerns. Dress code violations will not be called during a match. The dress code for the semifinals and finals room is nice casual. 
Jeans and hats are not allowed in the championship arena. Jeans and hats are not allowed in the championship Jeans arena. Jeans and hats are not allowed in the championship arena. Social security number. Your social security number will be needed at cash payout for anyone who receives any additional prize winning, including all cash and merchandise totaling at least $600. The APA is required by federal law to report any tournament awards totaling $600 or more in cash and prizes at retail value and travel assistance. If you don't have your social security number at payout, you won't be able to receive your winnings that day. If you're unable to provide the number before the tournament concludes, you must provide it to us before your winnings will be shipped. Sportsmanship. Sportsmanship awards will be presented in these events. Cast your vote by using the form in the event program. Protests. We have official protest forms at the control table. The fee to submit a protest is $50. All matches are reviewed by our Handicap Review Committee whether a protest is submitted or not. Smoking. Nevada state law prohibits smoking anywhere except in the designated areas. There is a $100 fine per offense. Holding up matches to take smoke breaks will not be tolerated. The use of electronic cigarettes or vaporizers is not allowed in the tournament rooms. Playing tables. Pool tables will be open for tournament play. Change machines are located around the room for practice when the tables are closed. Practice is not allowed on the open tables between rounds. You may practice by playing in the mini tournaments or on designated practice tables. Whirlpool Championships only. You'll find an event survey form included in your registration packet. Please complete this survey and turn it in with your first round score sheet. If you've misplaced it, please come to the control table to get another. Certification. It's your responsibility as team captain to make sure all of the players on your team are playing at the skill level that reflects their true ability. Your last opportunity to have any of the players recertify themselves will be immediately following this meeting. We realize most players practice more than normal before they come to this event, some players may not drink as much, and playing conditions are likely better than what they're used to. Don't get disqualified due to these reasons. If you're playing at a higher skill level, it's your responsibility to ensure you are playing at that higher skill level out here. Score sheets will be delivered to your table by a referee. Both teams are required to keep score. To avoid errors, be sure you complete the score sheet by filling in all matches won and totaling everything. Mark all innings and defensive shots. If it's determined that players are not marking defensive shots, the Handicap Review Committee may raise skill levels. The referee will be watching the defensive shots to be marked. If they see a defensive shot that is not marked, they will mark it on your score sheet with a red pen. The observers will be watching for this as well. In 8-Ball, please make sure you mark Early 8, E8, 8-Ball Scratch, 8S, 8 Wrong Pocket, 8WP, 8 on the break, 8OB, and break and runs, BR, on the score sheet. In 9-Ball, mark 9 on the snap, 9OS, and break and run, BR. Patches for break and runs, 8 on the break, and 9 on the snap will be rewarded when the score sheet is turned in. Just come to the control table with your score sheet whether you won or lost the match. Help us keep this tournament on schedule. Keep the matches moving. Pick your next player quickly and limit your coaching time. In 8-Ball, sudden death will be implemented 3 hours 45 minutes into a match. Each team must be in the fifth individual match by the 3 hours 45 minutes mark, or all subsequent individual matches will begin with a rack worth 2 team points. If that 2-point rack mathematically wins the team match, the team match will be over. If it does not win the team match, a second rack worth one team point will conclude that individual match. This procedure will continue in each subsequent individual match until a team mathematically wins or the overall match finishes in a tie. One two-point rack followed by one one-point rack if necessary. Tiebreakers will be decided by the team that won the most individual matches. Note, during sudden death, the individual match winner will be the player who wins the two-point rack. In nine ball, Sudden death is implemented at the three-hour mark, and all subsequent matches will have double point value placed on each ball. Well, looky there. You made it all the way through the video. In case you missed any of it, you can find it on our website, poolplayers.com, 
as well as our Facebook page for reference throughout the tournament. A copy of the National Tournament Rules is also printed here in the event program. Our opening ceremonies will be starting shortly. Our control captain will be giving you table assignments shortly. If you don't hear your table assignment, they'll be posted on this screen. If you have any questions, feel free to ask our staff here at the control table. Thank you for your attention, good luck, and good shooting.